we recommend that you need to have a dental cleaning done regularly, usually once every six months or once every year. The food that you eat together with the bacteria that is in your mouth, although it's a good bacteria usually, mixes and it leaves a layer on the surface of your tooth called plaque. This plaque is okay to be there, but later on, slowly, slowly, it becomes harder and bigger and more, and it's harder to remove. So why not have it removed when it is smaller and it's soft? Because when it becomes hard and when it becomes a lot, that's when you have a lot of sensitivity when dentist goes in trying to clean your teeth. Imagine of that buildup or calculus of a blanket on your teeth a blanket of gunks and germs. When that blanket is removed suddenly after years of being there, of course the teeth are sensitive. Not to mention all of these buildup and calculus on the teeth and on the root surfaces of the teeth especially are like barnacles on the side of a boat. They are eating through the root and the bone around the teeth. That bone gets dissolved and eventually there is nothing holding the tooth in place. Remember, the tooth has foundation around it, holding it in place. What are those foundations? Your gum and the jaw bone. The gum and jaw bone are continuously exposed to food, saliva, and bacteria. If they're not properly cleaned out, they're gonna reduce in size and shrink, and it's called gum recession and bone recession. When there's lots of bacteria and plaque and buildup and calculus attached to the root surfaces of the teeth, this buildup slowly, slowly will make your bones shrink. When the bone goes down and the gum goes down, the tooth gets loose and you have to pull it out. And usually there is no treatment for it. There is no magic pill yet that you can take that will fix the bone or the gum. One very common question from many of you is that these scalers that we use, do they cause fractures or mini fractures on the root surfaces? Are they scratching my enamel? That is a myth. The scaler that a dentist or hygienist use is working with ultrasound. So it's basically vibrating, it's not cutting, it's not a drill. So it cannot break or cause any fractures in the root surface or your enamel. If anything, it's just wiggling out all the bad stuff that's already there. Another reason for going to the dentist every six months is that you cannot visually see the inside of your mouth. Not visually only, but also we take x-rays. These x-rays look deeper down the surface and make sure if there's any holes, we catch them before they become painful. Usually main reason for not fixing a cavity or not going to the dentist for people is not even cost, is the fact that they say, but I don't have any pain. Remember, tooth is a live structure, it's not dead, but the heart of the tooth, let's say, the blood vessels and the nerves are really deep inside and you would only feel the pain when it's too late. At that stage, you usually need some sort of root canal treatment or a big restoration or pulling out a tooth, which is beginning of the end for that tooth. Then you have to go look into implants and bridges and dentures, which nobody would want to do as long as they can keep their own teeth. What can you do at home to take care of your teeth and your gum? This is the cheapest way and the best way to take care of your teeth. You need to floss your teeth every night before you brush your teeth. Why before? Everyone almost does it the other way around. Because there's lots of food between the teeth. Let's get them out and then the toothpaste can flow in between and clean the teeth. Floss every night, then brush your teeth, then go to bed. Also brush in the morning, it's very important because the mouth has a bad smell from sleeping and being dry. But at night time it's 10 times more important. Why is that? When we sleep, the saliva decreases in our mouth. That's why when you wake up in the morning, you feel a little bit dry in your mouth and you want water right away. Now, what's in the saliva that takes care of your teeth? Lots of antibodies. They are continuously fighting for you, killing bacteria. When there is less saliva, there is less antibodies, which means your teeth are more prone to cavities when you sleep. It's very important to take care of them before going to bed. If you like this video, please press the like button. And comment below if you had any question. I'll see you in the next one.